know, sometimes you don't know. As I announced earlier this month, I will pursue a quantum leap in the American standard of living. We will hold a competition to build new freedom cities on the frontier. We have this magnificent — we own most of the country. We have the most beautiful lands in the country to give countless Americans a new shot at home ownership and the American dream. We'll build cities, and we will support baby bonuses for a new baby boom. We want a baby boom. We want our people to have babies like we used to have. And other countries have that problem, too. I will immediately sign a new executive order to cut federal funding for any school that's pushing critical race theory, transgender insanity. and any other inappropriate racial, sexual, or political content on our children, their children. You know the amazing thing about that? Look at the hand you get for that. Bigger than uh, we're going to be energy independent. The amazing thing is, 10 years, if somebody said that, you wouldn't even know what they're talking about. That they can mutilate our children is without your permission. Parental rights. I said the other day, I will bring back parental rights into our school system, right? The place — and the place went crazy. The, you know, the place went crazy, and I said, can you imagine what I'm doing? I'm saying, parents, you have rights. That's what I've said, basically. Simple. Parents, you have rights. The place goes crazy because our country has gone crazy with this nonsense. I really believe it's people that hate our country. It has to be. It's people that hate our country. And just as you're doing right here in Iowa, we will keep men out of women's sports. That's another easy one. I don't know if anybody watches. Do you see some of the records that are being broken? That's a little — the weightlifting record. Guy comes in one hand. Bing! He just broke the record. Have you lifted before? No, not really. Boom. It's so ridiculous. The swimmer, you, really, you know, I told you about the swimmer. She got very badly injured from windburn as the guy went by her. The guy's going so fast in the swimming pool that she got windburn, you know? So she was badly injured. The whole thing is crazy, and it really hurts women. It it's, doesn't — it's the opposite of dignity. It's horrible. And you did it here, and that's great. There are some states that just — I just didn't see a certain state went the opposite way. Can you believe it? Anyway, I know one thing. If I was a basketball coach, I'd be the greatest coach in history. I'd have a woman's team. I'd have all men. I'd have — I'm not a fan of LeBron James. I don't like LeBron. But I'd say, hey, LeBron. You ever think of becoming a woman? Because you're going to be on my team. We're going to have — we're going to go undefeated for the next five years, LeBron. I'm not a fan, but, you know, I would ask him that question. And I will not give one penny to any school that has a vaccine mandate or a mask mandate from kindergarten through college. Out of control. You know, we have some great Republican governors. You have one right here, but they didn't close up. They closed up their state for a short period of time, and many of them didn't close at all. They didn't close at all. In, and they had a lot of pressure, but not from me. I allowed them to keep them open. But we have some Republican people. You look at South Carolina, how well they did. You can look at uh, South Dakota. You can look at various states that did — Tennessee did fantastically well. You did fantastically well. They weren't mandated to do anything. They were, you know, use your own good common sense. That's called the Federalist system. And uh, they did a fantastic job. Many of our young people are still dealing with the fallout of the 
prolonged school closures and the cancellations of the sports and activities, and they become antisocial, lots of bad things happen, will be the administration that commits to get these kids back on track and quickly. Kids are going to go back to school and participating fully. And now they're really in the process of finally getting it done. But this must be our priority, has to be. And uh, I will tell you that I want to congratulate Iowa on recently becoming the second state of the nation to deliver universal school choice. That's so great. School choice is where it's at. That's great. That's great. Very important to you, isn't it? Very important. I know every time I'm with Kim, she really finds the education. You know, some people are for it, and some people are less for it. Some people want to talk about trade, and some people want to talk about other things, but always been very, very strong on education. I see what you've done here. It's incredible. As President, I'll fight to expand that right to every single state in America, and we were doing that, too. And I'll support the direct election of school principals by the parents. They should be elected by the parents. If any principal is not getting the job done, of which you have many, 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 especially in the inner cities, the parents should be able to vote to fire them and to select somebody who will, who will get the job done. In addition, I am going to pursue, and we studied it very closely, and I was getting ready to do it, pull the trigger, the long-term goal, but now it's a short-term goal, of breaking up the Federal Department of Education and redistributing its functions to the states. I'm going to break it up soon. That'll be done quickly. I was ready to get it done. I was ready to get it done. Then we had a bad election. But this is what must be done to save our country from destruction, all of these things. And remember this on having to do with education. Out of the top 40 countries, we're always at, like, the bottom of the list in terms of success per stu student. And yet, I believe it's about three times and even sometimes four times more than the second, third, and fourth country so we spend three to four times more on educating a pupil, and yet we're at the bottom of the list. They're at the top of the list, and they spend much less money. So you know the system doesn't work. So breaking up the Department of Education is a very simple thing to do, okay? And 2024 is the final battle. That's it. If you put me back in the White House, the reign of the corrupt Washington establishment will be over. I got to know them all. When I went there, I didn't know a lot of people. I had to rely on, in some cases, rhinos and others to give me some recommendations. But I know them all now. I know the good ones. I know the bad ones. I know the weak ones. I know the strong ones. We know them all. And America will be a free nation once again. And with your support, and these caucuses, we will, and we're always keeping you there, we're going to complete our mission. We are going to see that job through. We did such a job. There was a report today we were as good as any president. There's never been an administration that's done more than we have done. We rebuilt our military. Largest tax cuts in history. Largest regulation cuts in history. Even on a medical right to try, people are dying and they couldn't use drugs that were perfectly good, perfectly good, but it take, takes two, three, four years to get them approved by the FDA. Sometimes it takes 13, 14 years. We cut that in half down to five, cut it in more than half. And when people are terminally ill or very ill, I passed something, got it passed. They were trying to do it for 54 years. I got it passed in Congress, right to try, where you no longer have to go to Asia or Europe or wherever you may go to try and find a miracle cure. You can stay home and use, because we have the greatest doctors in the world, the greatest labs in the world. And if you're critically ill, if you're terminally ill, or even a little bit less than that, you don't have to do this. Many people were going to faraway lands, and they would die, but they'd go to faraway lands. Many people would go home if they didn't have money. They couldn't go to faraway lands. They'd go home and they'd die. They'd sit in their room and they'd die. Now you sign a paper, 
and you have right to try, and you can use things that work, but they're not approved yet because you have to go through a process. And people said, sir, you can't do that because you'll maybe make the person very sick. I said, the person is terminally ill. The person has two weeks to live. And we've saved thousands and thousands of lives. That was another thing. Nobody ever thought we could get that approved. But we saved thousands of lives. People that are living right now with drugs that are advanced, with all of the things they can do now, that things you wouldn't even imagine possible. But we did so much. And we rebuilt our military. Think of that. We had planes. We had fighter jets that the grandfather flew, and then the father, and then the, the son is flying it or was flying it. We have all new, all new beautiful stuff. The $85 billion that we gave away is too bad, but that's actually small compared to what we did. We rebuilt our entire, entire military, and it was, uh, it's been amazing. <laughs> giving a lot of it away, though. Well, I tell you, we're giving a lot of it away. And we're going to finish what we started. The people of Iowa have always been there for me. They've always been, you've always been there for me. Somehow we had a, a great relationship right from the beginning. And I think I can honestly say that I have always been there with you and I always will be there with you. <laughs> Together we will end the era of weaponized government forever. We will end woke. We will crush the deep state. We will save our economy. We will defend our farmers. We will evict Joe Biden from the White House. And we will make America great 